Hello, I'm the Judgmental Adventist, also known as George Tasker. Now, I did not expect to produce this podcast today because nothing really interesting happening, but it looks like I'm going to be starting to produce some more programs and, and content from time to time because there's been a number of interesting things happening. So today's interesting item comes from Twitter and this was brought to my attention by someone else and we have someone here who I presume is an astrologer because of the nature of what they have written and they are saying here that if Biden is made to step down because he won't on his own it will be at the Capricorn full moon at 29 degrees Capricorn. Capricorn rules the government and old age. 29 degrees is an ending. Someone says any date and the response was July 21. Now if you take a look here you will notice that we have the 11th of July 2024. So that would be what? Um, 11 days ago now. So the question I asked myself was, can I replicate this? And the reason I had to ask myself this question is that when I shared this particular meme, someone immediately claimed that it was docked. So I have brought up my browser. And we'll just go back. Whoops. Went back too far. Ah, there we are. Someone by the name of Starhill. They claim to be the internet's most notorious astrologer. They've got 121,000 followers. They may get a whole lot more soon. Um, I'm opting to not follow, as you can very well see. So I scrolled down and I looked for their original post. There it is, just there. And then I went into that post and found someone here saying any date. Oh yes, and then July 21. So I then went inside that post so you can see for yourself exactly what it looks like. And then if I want to, I can do a print screen. And there it is. I've just done a print screen. I don't know if this would work. And there it is, replicated. And I can then put that into my document down here. I'm going to make a second page. Whoop, what happened there? Ah, right. Okay, so we'll put this one up in this page here and you can see already that it's there. The only difference is instead of having July 11, like we had down here, we've, you can see we've got July 12. And that to me is easily explained by virtue of the fact that I live in Australia and anything that is posted, say, in the US would be automatically showing up a day later in Australia by virtue of the fact that we're about 16 hours or so ahead of um, the US. So the question I have to then ask is, what does this all mean? Well, at the end of the day, I am not trying to give any credence to astrology. I am an Adventist first and I expect that anything like this is going to prove something else. <clears throat> and the one person said uh, what was it that some person was inspired by Satan to say that? Yeah, well, that's possible. Um, the other possibility is that the post was 
doctored or it's just a coincidence. That's three possibilities, but I believe there's a fourth possibility. And that is that the deep state does follow astrology and it maps these dates out. And that it makes things happen on these dates. It has the effect then of making those who follow astrology give it the credibility it does not deserve. Now, the question we could ask ourselves in, then is, well, what does the Bible have to say about all of this? So we're going to jump into the Bible and we're going to take a quick look at the first at the first verse. Now, if you go into this particular one, I'm going to see who are we talking about? So we'll back up a little bit from the verse that I chose. And we go back to verse Daniel 2, verse 20. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And in verse 21, he goes on to say, And he, and that is God, changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. All right. So, we have a situation here where God claims to be the one who sets times. But is that the end of it? Well. I don't think so, because there is a verse further down. I'm going to have to find it now. I did, did have it before. And here it is. Ah, this one, Daniel 7.25. So let's go into that one. And there we are. Let's go back a verse there, and we start at Daniel 7.24. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are the ten kings that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse, in other words, different from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. They shall be given into his hand until a time and times, and the dividing of times. So just look at that. They think to change times and laws. So what am I concluding? I am concluding that God is the one that sets times, and the, those that rebel against God, the God-haters, saying, no, we set times. And so the other alternative is that the deep state already has these dates mapped out and intends to make certain things happen on those dates. And by following the times of astrology, the deep state is trying to poke one in the eye of God. Now, what that means is that the setting of times is the domain of God. And by following astrology, the deep state and anyone else associated with them are showing that they're rebelling against the foreordained times that God himself has set. And so that's pretty much the end of it. There's really not a lot more to say apart from the fact that these things are being set by the powers that be according to the rule rules of astrology, which are in rebellion against the Almighty. The Almighty has set a time to return. 
we don't know what that time is, but it, I presume, will not be changed. It will not be an artefact of astrology. I'm George Tasker, your judgmental Adventist.